All right, this is the Bayona Creek bike path ride from Marina del Rey all the way to the end in Culver City. It's the windiest, gloomiest, most miserable day in the world. So I'm gonna put on my gloves and let's go. This is a great little ride. There's really no stops and you could just get a, get a great workout and then come back the other way. On a windy day like this, it's super easy going out and coming back is work. Uh, don't see a lot of trucks on the bike path. This is an anomaly. Nice thing about riding in the rain is there's no traffic. And if you look out there in the water, sometimes you can see seals playing. You can actually go feed them as you go over to the lighthouse over there. They have these waterway systems in LA that used to be rivers. They still are really. You can see how full that one is. Uh, sort of a big concrete river. And they built bike paths along a lot of them. So if you want to get around on a bike in LA, you can ride along the LA rivers. This being the Bayona Creek, Culver City, the Marina del Rey. Used to be really bad in the 90s. A lot of crazy people and gangs would be on a river. People did get beat up. I never got beat up, but I've definitely had them stop me. Heard people yelling at me, seen big groups of people under the bridge and knew people who got beat up and got their bikes stolen. So all that's gone now, as far as I can tell. There's a few crazy homeless people along the way, but they're pretty peaceful. Some of them put garbage under the bridge like their garbage will fall down under the bridge and you gotta watch out for it. As you can see, man, you can just put it in the big gear and roll. Get your heart up and keep it up. No stop signs. Even when it's crowded, it's pretty easy to get around people and maintain your speed. Way better than riding on Spalmina.
ride a mountain bike with fat, slick tires, 27.5. Hard tail with front suspension. You will find that there are some things out here that will pop your tires. So I recommend going more of a mountain bike than a road bike. I really like the WTB Thick Slick tires. They're extra thick, extra hard to pop. I think I've had one flat. I ran over a industrial stapler on this bike path and. And, uh, it was just too much for the thick and the slick. See if I can get a crane shot here. Beautiful river. Or I should say beautiful Bayona Creek. And all of its splendor. On a day with a lot of rain. Pretty high at this point. Sometimes it's really low and you can smell the sewage at the bottom. Figured probably nobody's gonna watch this. A couple of locals a month thinking about riding a bike path. So for you, that's who I'm aiming this at. Anybody who's thinking about Bayona Creek, just see exactly what you're getting into. The old heart rate, a little high. I'm showing off for the cameras. I don't know if you can see that. Heart rate 181. Let's slow down a little bit so I don't die. There are parks along the way, like this one. So if you want to take a break, if your heart rate is 200 and you feel like you're gonna pass out, just chill out on a bench. They got nice shade, nice benches. It's a little pavilion here where people do workouts. A lot of, I see a lot of personal trainers there hanging up, hanging up pull-up bars and doing squats. We got a squatting person right now. I've been doing those squats every day and that really helps loosen up your hips. Really good thing. This is 
Centinella Boulevard, Culver City. I think the other good thing, in my opinion, about riding a mountain bike is this has got 1.95 tires on it. So I can't go too fast, but I still get a good heart workout. So in my opinion, it's safer than, uh, you know, doing five or eight miles an hour faster on a real road bike with all the gear. All right, this is Inglewood Boulevard with Said Riders. You see, there we are. There is some slimy water under a lot of these bridges, even on a sunny day. So I like to have fenders so I don't get water on my butt. Pink Culver City housing projects. Shoes on the on the power lines. Lots of security cameras on the pole. There we are being watched. Oh, there's more shoes. Right on, no excuses. That dude's out there walking. It's like he's recovering from a stroke or something. But keep moving is the secret. If you're getting old, and I am definitely getting old. Okay, there's a, there's a crazy homeless guy under this bridge. Sometimes he's beating on pipes. Sometimes there's garbage underneath. So this one is one of the ones where you want to be careful. Bit of a hoarder. There's garbage everywhere on this one. Seems harmless enough though. Oh, there he is. So he sits there and makes that sound. You hear that ding, ding, ding. He sits there and pounds on the piece of metal all day. So that's how you know he's there. But sometimes he's quiet, so that's not a definite indicator. He might be there if it's quiet, might be sleeping, but if he's doing his job, which is pound on a piece of metal all day, then you'll hear it and you'll know that he's in there. But that's the only one that's suspect. Everybody else that's homeless, like back at that workout park, there's that homeless guy that's chilling there. I can't make a video <laughs> in the city without sirens. Oh, there's some tire puppers. Oh, 
See that's high water there. It's almost up to the bike path here. It has been over the bike path. See all that garbage? That's an indicator that the trail was underwater probably last night when the rain was heavy. Alright, if you're an Instagram model, this is a great bridge to take pictures on. We're just a little bit like a block west of the Culver City Library here. This is some kind of Culver City High School, I think. But check out this bridge. Here we Got a big butt and a million subscribers. Come here. Take pictures of yourself. Beautiful old rusty uh, steel bridge. close these gates. So it's a different day. I'm on a different bike and the weather is clear. The bike path is open. Here's a good look at the bridge. Now we're going to go and see if we can find the end of the bike path. See those hills out there in the distance that's a nice hill climb if you want to get up into the streets get off on this off ramp and you can go climb up those hills and there's a little museum at the top and it's uh it's a real nice little park there's a lot of hiking trails up there if you're a hiker and there's softball fields on top as well this is the overland avenue exit by the Culver City Library. It's a lot windier today than it was the other day, but rather the wind is in my face. So sorry if you can't hear me. That used to be a big homeless camp. Looks like they rousted everybody out of there. Guy had a whole little house going. Traffic is usually pretty light here. There's some blind corners. 
but you can you can get going pretty good here without worrying about too many people getting in your way. There's some ugly bridges there and you can see the the water is low today. So there's no no flood danger at this point. Experimenting with the, with the duct tape flaps of my camera to try and reduce the wind noise. I think it helped on the first half of this video. I'm not sure if it'll help on the second half because there's just so much wind in my face today. Usually the wind is blowing from the ocean to the city, so if you do choose to ride this and you're not in real great shape, you'll fly out here and then the way back, you'll be facing directly into the wind. It'll be a lot harder work. So be aware of that if you wanna run this trail. Here's one of those blind corners. Kesney Avenue, this bridge always has water that goes up your butt, so I ride a bike with fenders. It's also slow down so it doesn't get all in your shoes. Gross. on the bridges and sometimes they're also painted on the ground so you have some idea of where you are in the city when you're riding this path just across Lafayette so it says Irving oh, a free couch down there There's a better look at the, the hill over there, so. I don't remember what that's called, but it's the biggest mountain in Culver City. It's the only mountain in Culver City. You can climb up it and you can see the whole city all the way to the mountains from up there. It's a really pretty view. Great place to go on a clear day.
I hope that we can get to the end. There's a lot of construction. They're building a new bridge up there. So, strange place for a barrier. Oh, check out that crazy building. Architect is making some kind of statement. See, not a lot of weed control going on here. It's just the, the dirty dead end of the path where nobody goes. So probably nobody complaining about the weed. This is another good place for your Instagram motto. You take pictures in front of murals. Take your favorite uh, tiger. And this is the official end. I'm gonna go up that ramp and we will be done. This is National Boulevard, so it goes from Marina del Rey to National Boulevard. We are done. Woo. Good morning. Oh, man.